Hello students, welcome back to Mr. Labor's Computer Lessons. Okay, so we're going to continue with Excel and here I've got um, a names file and we've got some of uh, names here, we've got a gender here, we've got a date of birth. Uh, we've got quite a few names, if I hold the control key down and push the down arrow, you'll see the last name is at 1028. So control home. You can see we've got a number of names and what we're going to be doing with these today is just processing them and sorting them out um, and eventually what we're doing is we are creating a username and a random password um, and sorting them into teams so you'll see how we go um, if you guys could just follow along with me and we'll do it together so the first uh, task for us to do is to take this full name here and actually split it into a first name and a last name. So I'd like to put um, the first name here and then the last name in this column here. Okay. So I'm going to be introducing you to some more functions um, and you're going to see how these are going to work. Um, I'll try to make it as clear as possible. So if you guys could just do what I'm doing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a function which is called the left function. And if I just type left, and what that does, it says here what it does, it returns the specified number of characters, characters from the start of a text string. So what that means is if we want to use this text string here or string of characters it will return the a number of characters from the start to up to wherever we say okay um, so that's what it does so in order to work this we need an open bracket and then the f and then you'll see down here it says text and this is a parameter that's being passed to the left function. And what it's asking is, what text do we want to search? Well, this is the text here. So I'm just simply going to click here, and it will put in A2, which is that address there. And then if I go comma, it says, how many characters do you want to return? So we want to return all the ones up to the space. So if I was to count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the space is at number 9. So I'm going to put number 9 there and close the bracket off, push enter, and you can see there we got our, our first name. It's exactly what we want. Now if we run it down here, it's going to work, and that's excellent. Well, it's it's sort of going to work because you'll see now that we've got problems. That every time we're returning the first nine characters, and yet in this one, the, the space here is actually at character uh, five or six. So that's not entirely going to work, and I'm sure you, going to show you how to fix that. What we'll do here is we will click on this D column right at the top, uh, right click and we're going to insert a column okay and what we're going to do in this column is we're going to find where the space is and to do that we're going to use the find function so I push equals I type find and it tells us what it's going to do it returns the starting position of one text string within another text string Okay, so we push the open brackets, and the first parameter it's asking for is to find the text. So it's asking what text are we searching for? Well, we're searching for a space, um, which, and so what we need to do is we use the open uh, uh, double quotes. We're putting in a space with the space key, and then I'm using the double quotes. So in there you can see, whoops, um, you can see there that we've got a space. I now use a comma 
and it moves to the next parameter. And then it's saying, within what text? Well, the text here is in here. So I click on that. And then you'll see it's actually asking for another parameter. Now, if I push a comma, you'll see it now asks for another parameter. But if you'll notice that this parameter here is inside square brackets. Now, that's important because what it means is that that parameter is actually optional and we don't need to give it. So I'm going to take that comma out and close it with the round brackets. And, oops, okay, so that's interesting. It's given me the correct answer, but I do need to change the format from date to general. And actually, we need to do that for the whole column. So click on that whole column, go from home, make sure it's on general, and, uh, and then the whole column will change. Okay, so that's looking good. And if I run that down, it will find the position of that space. So where's Dave? Here's Dave. And the position of the space is at number five. So now what we can do is we can go back up here and we can adjust this left um, this left function formula. I'm going to push F2 and rather than put 9 in there, oops, we need a comma, uh, rather than put 9, I'm going to put the 9, the address here. So I'll just click there and it puts D2 in there and then push enter and that's still working good and if I come down here you should now see all of these to be just showing the first name and there we go so that's excellent now what we can do now is if we grab that bottom right hand corner which I should have said that before um, and we drag it all the way down go right down to the very last name, oops, and give it a couple of seconds and then it fills it in. And so you can see now that we have separated the, the first name from, uh, from the full name. Now if I go control home, that'll take us right back to the beginning. Okay, and I'm using my arrow keys now to move across. It's very good practice when you use your arrow keys to move around Excel rather than your mouse. Okay, so the last name, we're going to have to do it slightly different because we don't want the left characters being returned. What we want is the right ones. Now, I believe that Excel has a function called right, but I don't think it works very well. And a better function to use is actually a function called mid, M-I-D. And what that does is it returns the characters from the middle of a text string, given the starting position and the length. Okay, so it will return the middle, but it will also return the right ones if we, um, uh, if we put a long length in. So what happens is we push the round open bracket and the first thing it's asking us for the text to search and so we're going to tell it to search in here comma the start number needs to be where the space is the space is here and then the number of characters um, and it's not optional it's giving us a definite number so i'm going to put a large number and just say 50 and then I know it's going to return all the characters. So if I click there, and that's good, um, that's going to return all of our surnames, and that's excellent. Now there is a problem that because we put 50 up here, it's got a lot of spaces in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to remove all of those spaces with a trim function. So open bracket, and it's asking what text do you want to trim? And I'm going to say trim this, 
and close it with the round bracket and enter and there we go it looks exactly the same but the good thing is that we've got rid of all of those spaces okay right now we need to run this right to the bottom and I'm going to show you a little trick rather than pulling it all the way down all we need to do is double click it and it will run it all the way down to the bottom for ourselves and just to prove the point if I hold my control key down and push the down arrow you can see that we've gone all the way to the end okay so that's good let's go back to the beginning control home right now these are all formulas and what I want to do now is I want to get rid of these formulas um, and just use the values. So that's easy done. I'm going to select the three columns here. I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to paste the values only. So then there we are, just the values. Okay, I've done it. Looks like nothing has changed. But if I come up here, you'll now see that this says Alistair, and there is no formula in it. This says Jackson. So now what we can do now is we can just fix this up a bit. First of all, we don't need this column anymore. So we'll right click on this column here, and we'll delete the whole column. I'm going to come over to this final column over here, if I hold control now, shift, which will select it, use the bottom arrow, it means that they're all selected. And what I can do now is just go onto the border and drag it across. And it says there's already data there. And do you want to replace it? And we'll go OK. And there we go. Control home, back to the beginning. Okay, so there we go. That's the first part of our project. I'll just uh, pause it there for a little moment. Right, so the next part of our project is to um, remove some duplicate names that we've got in here. We've got a number of names that are, uh, have appeared in here twice. So we need to remove them. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to sort all of these names out by this um, full name here. So we'll select all the columns on our home tab in the editing, a sort and filter. If we choose the custom sort option, and then we're going to sort by name, which is this name column here, we're going to sort on the cell values and from A to Z and we'll go OK. And there we go, that's looking good. Right, now the next thing is what we're going to do is we're going to use um, this column over here to basically check, we'll come down to the second name, we're going to check that this name is not the same as this name. And the way to do that is to use an if function. So we're going to go if, open brackets, and then it says a logical test. So what we need to do is we need to test to see if that name is the same as that name. Which is simply done. All we need to do is click there. And we'll go A3. So if A3 is equal to A2. And that's our test. And then we go comma. And if it's true, what we're going to do is we're going to get it to write true there okay um, i've done that in capitals I'm not, uh, we may need to do that i'm not sure but anyway i've done it in capitals and then if it's false we'll just write um, false and then we're going to close it whoops we're going to close it with our brackets and done that right now we're going to double click that to run up right to the bottom that's looking good it says false all the way down we'll probably find the true one somewhere hopefully there's a true one can i see a true one there's a true 
Okay, so it's working. And Brenda Telfer is the same as Brenda Telfer. So what we're going to do now, we go back to the beginning, is, uh, uh, is we'll Control-Shift-N to select them all. We'll copy those and we'll, we'll paste the values only. Uh, there we go, paste the values. That gets rid of all of our formulas. Now, we need to fix this first one up, so I'm just going to transfer that up to there. Now what we're going to do is we will select all of these and we'll sort them all by true and false and that will put all our true ones at the top. So home, editing, uh, filter, we'll do a custom sort. We're going to sort on column F and I think that if we want the true ones at the top, we're going to have to go largest to smallest. And then we'll go OK. And there we go. All our true ones are at the top. OK, so that's looking good. So now what we need to do is, all we need to do is select all of those names there. Right click on them and delete them. OK. And that's got rid of all of our duplicates. So I'm going to save my work at that stage, which I'll use Control S to save and pause. And uh, we finished that part. What you guys to do at the moment is we're going to make a copy of this sheet um, so that if we've got any problems, uh, they're going to be separated from this. So what we'll do now is, actually there is something that we should have done previously, is we no longer now need this column. So we're going to delete this column here. And uh, we'll name, we'll, we'll rename this sheet here. So if I right click on it, um, we'll rename it um, part one. Oops, my caps lock is on. Part 1. Okay. And we're going to right click on this and we're going to make, say, go move or copy. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to create a copy of this sheet. And we will uh, move it to the end and we'll click the create a copy. And we'll go OK. And there we go. So we've got two worksheets and they both look exactly the same. That's why it's not changing. Now I'm going to rename this one here to part two. Part two. And if I drag this over to here, that's going to put them on a little bit better order. Okay, so with this one...